it's Teresa with SmokingHotCigarChick.com. Today I wanted to share with you one of my favorite go-to cocktails. And this particular one I think works especially well with medium-bodied cigars, uh, medium plus, and full-bodied cigars. Uh, right now I'm smoking from Winwood. This is the Factory Fresh series. And if you're familiar, you'll see uh, different colored bands on them. There's a white band, a black band, and a red band. I'm smoking the black band right now. This is the more uh, medium, medium plus body to the series. Uh, subtle sweet notes, uh, very complex, very rich, very earthy. Uh, subtle pepper notes, but nothing too uh, overpowering. Again, very well balanced. And I think it's a perfect kind of cigar for this cocktail. So the cocktail is a Boulevardier. And this cocktail is, um, the first time I heard about it, it was compared to me as a Negroni, but instead of using gin, using bourbon or rye. But in fact, this cocktail is actually 20 years older than the Negroni, so it precedes the Negroni. And there's different variations too that you use with the ingredients, so it really kind of is a different cocktail of its own. Uh, it was created by a gentleman who was an American expat in Paris. He had a bar called the New York Bar in Paris, which later became Harry's New York Bar. And there, uh, one of the customers, one of the cocktails he made, it was a signature drink for uh, a writer of a magazine, a magazine called Boulevardier. Thus, the cocktail is called that as well. So this one calls for uh, bourbon, Campari, and Italian vermouth. I like to make mine with rye. That's the first time I had the cocktails with rye. Uh, bourbon's going to give you a sweeter drink, maybe a more balanced drink, especially if you're pairing it with a cigar. I kind of like the bite of rye. I, I tend to like rye more than bourbon, so that's a personal preference, and you can kind of, you know, change it the way you like to do it. Uh, so for me, I'm going to include the recipe on the site with both bourbon and with rye. Uh, depending which one you use, which bourbon you use, especially the mash bill, that's going to change the whole consistency of the cocktail too. Uh, Campari is going to be a very uh, bitter uh, element, so if you are on the sweeter side, the bourbon, you'll still get bitterness from the Campari. Now, with vermouth, so many people said they don't like vermouth. Honestly, you haven't had fresh vermouth, probably. Um, vermouth is a fortified wine, so it does last longer than your regular bottle of wine, but not that much longer. If it's been sitting on your shelf for a year, cook with it, um, deglaze your pans, throw it away. There's really not much to it. You don't want to drink it. It probably tastes awful. It's just completely, it starts to change. So um, for if you're using a lot of vermouth in your cocktails, you can get a bigger bottle. Maybe keep it in the fridge for longer shelf life. Otherwise, get a smaller bottle if it's just you at home. And that way you can get a fresher cocktail and a more delicious cocktail. So. For this cocktail, we're going to use, and again, I'm going to use in place of bourbon, one and a half ounces of rye. You can use the bourbon of your choice, so I'll leave that to you. And usually when I have my ryes and my bourbons, I have, um, at home, I have my drinking, my sipping bourbons, which I drink by themselves. And then I have my mixing bourbons and my mixing ryes. I think there are certain ones that really don't need anything. And then there are others that you can really have fun with, you know, experiment, have fun, change up the, <laughs> the usual. And one thing I like about this drink is because there's no, um, there's no lemon juice or lime juice in this one, we're just going to stir this cocktail to, um, to chill it. We want some dilution of the water of the ice, but not too much, just enough to make it very cold. And I think Usually, stirred drinks work really well with cigars. Again, because you don't have that strong acidity, and I mean, acidity plays such a big role when you're when you're tasting. It can dry out the palate. Uh, you'll think you won't actually like a cigar, even though it's just the drink. So you want to be careful of that too. All right. So you're gonna add your ice. And you're gonna stir it just until it gets cool enough. If you use a stirring spoon like this, a bar spoon, I like to flip mine around and use this part because this is annoying and clinky. And this gives you a um, less aggravated cocktail. And as you're um, stirring it, you'll see the ice kind of break apart and you'll see the glass start to chill. And you just want the cocktail to be very cold. And so the final thing, while I'm doing this, I like to keep a cocktail glass that's already chilled with some ice and water. And that way you have a cold drink going into a cold glass. Which 
is lovely. And I'm gonna strain this into a cocktail coupe. If um, this drink is too strong for you, what you can do is you can take um, a low ball glass, add ice, and pour it over the rocks. It tastes great on the rocks, it tastes great straight up, it's a matter of preference. If you are gonna use ice, I would recommend using cubed ice. Um, it's nice because it melts at a very even dilution. When you use the crescent ice that most ice makers make, uh, it, it starts to melt too fast and you get a watered down drink and nobody likes that. So This is one of my favorite cocktails. I hope you enjoy it too. And again, make it your own. You know, play around with different types of vermouths, play around with different types of bourbons or rye, and you know, see what cigars you think works best for you. For me, this cigar works perfectly. I love it. But give me your ideas, give me your cocktail pairings, and I'd love to see where we all meet up on everything. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye.